Bill Nye the Science Guy. Bill Nye the Science Guy. Bill, 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 Bill. Bill Nye the Science Guy. Science rules. Bill Nye the Science Guy. Inertia is a property of matter. Bill, 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 Bill. Bill, Bill, Bill. Hello friend, I have a challenge for you. Can you get the egg into the glass of water? Sure, I can. Here's how. Okay, that's so simple. In our simple experiment, we will be needing a carton tube, of course, an egg, a plate, and a beaker with water. Hey, hey, that would be impossible. Sure thing. If I do that, the egg would be a mess. Remember what Isaac Newton said about inertia? Yes, inertia is the resistance of an object to change in motion. And the first law of motion by Isaac Newton states that an object remains in a state of rest or uniform motion unless it is acted upon by an outside and balanced force. The challenge here is to get the egg into the glass. So we have here a beaker with a glass and then we put a plate on top of the glass and then the carton too and then the egg on top of it. Okay. Your hand should be placed here. You gotta hit the pan straight in and then the pan will move and so as the carton does. The inertia will hold the egg for a second but then it will fall into the glass. Can you do it? Oh, that's very scary. But I'm trying to I know you can do it. Come on. One, two, three. Question. Between the bowling ball and volleyball, which do I have push harder, or apply more force, to make it move? Which do you think will go faster? Is your guess is right? Newton's second law of motion, states that the acceleration produced by a net force on an object is directly proportional to the magnitude of the net force, is in the same direction as the net force, and is inversely proportional to the mass of the body. In mathematical term, acceleration A, is equal to net force F, divided by mass of the object M, or A is equal to F over M, Thank you. 
Now, let's take a look deeper on Newton's second law. Consider the following setups. Which do you think has the greatest acceleration? Set A, B, or C? I will give you 10 seconds to analyze the setups. Again, is your guess right? Now, here's Sir Isaac Newton. Now let us see the mathematical computation based on my second law of motions, formula, Y setup A, has the greatest acceleration. On setup A, the mass is 2 kilograms, and force is 20 newton. From the equation, A is equals to F over M. A is equals to 20 Newton, or kilogram meter per second square, over 2 kilograms, cancel kilogram, it will give you an acceleration of 10 meter per second square. In set B, instead of 2 kilograms mass, we will increase the mass to 4 kilograms, now the mass is 4 kilograms, force is 20 newton again from the equation a is equals to f over m a is equals to 20 newton or kilogram meter per second square over 4 kilograms cancel kilogram it will give you an acceleration of 5 meter per second square On the last setup we will further increase the mass from 4 kg to 6 kg. Finally the mass is 6 kg. Force is 20 newton. Again, from the equation, A is equals to F over M. A is equals to 20 newton or kilogram meter per second square over 6 kilograms, finally, it will give you an acceleration of 3.3 meter per second square. Let us summarize the three setups. As you can see, if the mass increases, the acceleration decreases. Did you ever wonder how a rocket lift off the ground? Or an airplane flies? A car managed to move on the ground? Or why it is a gunman moves backward after firing his gun? All that is because of Newton's third law of motion. The law of interaction. So Newton's third law of motion states that, when a body exert a force on another, the second body will exert an equal and opposite force to the first object. So when a person sits on a chair, that person will exert a downward force on the chair, the action, and the chair will exert a force on the person with an opposite direction, the reaction. The magnitude of the two forces are the same, but the direction are opposite. So what will happen if we remove the reaction force? Which is the force of the chair? On a rocket, it lifts itself from the ground by ejecting a hot gas downward, the action. As a reaction, the rocket moves on an opposite direction, upward. The car moves because the tire pushes the ground, and, as a reaction, the ground pushes the car. So if a person shoots a gun, the gunpowder burns and converted into heat energy. That propels the projectile forward. And the projectile pushes the whole gun backward. So if you ever wonder why objects in the universe moves, change in direction, or suddenly become addressed, 
That is because of Newton's law of motion.